Lower leg. Getting there. Getting there. Got a long way today. We're on like mile 24 of our marathon. All right, we got to talk about the ankle a little bit. Because unfortunately, is this word bank going to work for our ankle? Now, you guys already know enough to know that the ankle has its own set of joint actions. What type of joint is the ankle? It's commonly referred to as a hinge joint. Well, it's a little deceptive, but the ankle is also two joints, not one. So you have this mortise, is what it's called. It's like a mortise joint. That's another one of those construction things, right? Where you have like a one of these shapes and a tongue that goes into it that way. So you have the end of the tibia and the fibular, the lateral malleolus of the fibula coming down and basically blocking this part of your ankle joint into what plane? What plane can this actually move? Sagittal. Sagittal, that's it, right? But, all right, so that's the tibiotalar or talocrural joint. Then you have the subtalar joint, which is your heel bone, your calcaneus on the talus. Does the fibular, or the lateral malleolus of the fibula extend that low? No, so now what plane can this move in? Frontal, Frontal. it'll rock this way. Ah. All right, so we have sagittal here and frontal here. Subtalar, beneath the talus. Tibia, fibula, talus, calcaneus. Those are kind of the bones that make up our ankle. So we got some sagittal joint actions, and we got some frontal actions. Well, I guess I actually could kill two birds with one stone here and just make our word bank, huh? So, what can my ankle do in the sagittal plane? Plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. You guys are already way on top of it. Where do those terms come from? And why isn't it flexion and extension? And you guys are right. Dr. Frylinger steals all my stuff. Um, all right, so dorsiflexion. Dorsal refers to top surface. Like the dorsal fin on a shark dolphin <laughs> we're hardcore in this room if we're going to refer to dorsal fins it's going to be jaws not some little dolphin Could be shamu. shamu's a killer whale it has killer in the name so that's that's okay that's an in-between does funny shows but still a possible killer kills trainers kills trick <laughs> Kills trainers, all right, kind of, kind of cool, I guess kind of cool. Not as cool as Jaws, but more cool than a dolphin. All right, so dorsal fin, <laughs> I realize I'm recording this on video, and that that whole thing is just going to look like a weird aside about my fascinations with fish that eat other fish, or in the case of killer whales and dolphins, mammals, and now I've proved that I watch way too much Discovery Channel. All right, so moving on, we got dorsal fins, top surface, flexion refers to two bones, together, two bones getting closer together. In this case, it's the dorsal surface of the foot getting closer to the tibia. <coughs> plantar flexion, what does plantar refer to? Bottom. The underside. 
Now how we get plantar flexion, not really sure, other than the calcaneus does actually come closer to the tibia. Your ankle's more of a seesaw than it is like your elbow. You guys cool with that? I always think like plant myself into the ground is plantar flexion, and then dorsiflexion is coming up. You guys got that? Now in the frontal plane, Plantiflexion is, a weird, is an actual word. Uh, it's just not used. Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Uh, frontal is actually eversion and inversion. And this is subtalar joint actions. So eversion is what? Yeah, so eversion. Well, actually, let's start with inversion. Because I have a little cue to help me memorize this. Inversion is the sole of my foot facing inward. Inversion sprains happen more often. Right. Why do inversion sprains happen more often than eversion sprains? Okay, this is my left foot. Because the fibula comes down. Because the fibula blocks the talus. There's less stability this way. Yeah, if you hear of an eversion sprain, which eversion now is the other way, foot flattening or beyond. If it goes beyond and you get an eversion sprain, what often happens? Fibula fracture. Fibula fracture. Not okay. Not okay. All right, so we got eversion, or inversion and eversion. All right. 